Jeff Davis, a.k.a. Mr. Mountaintop, <laughs> is an author, blogger, professional speaker, marketer, world traveler, consultant, and humanitarian. He has done keynote speeches internationally, is a sought-after expert on self-leadership and anti-bullying. He's also a mental health advocate. Jeff did a TEDx talk in New York City called How to Fulfill Your Inner Life, and he frequently speaks to high schools, colleges, nonprofits, organizations, associations, conferences, and businesses. He is a resident of the world. He's poured out his true self for us over the years. He's a true gift. Give up for Jeff. put down the rope, go back up to your room. And I went up to my room, and it's just the worst year of my life, and I'm meditating, and I got a, a realization that came to me. Your self-worth doesn't depend on external circumstances. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1 is titled, Why Did No One Tell Me? Why did no one at my high school tell me, Jeff, it's okay if you don't make the team. It's not a big deal. Just move on. I was brainwashed. I had all my self-worth being on this team. Now I can just laugh about it. It's like, okay, it's a team. Move on. I had all my self-worth being on the team. I thought everything was over. And I didn't think I could go on. It's okay to talk about struggles you're going through. If you're ever going through a challenge, talk about it with a close friend or a colleague or someone who can help you through it. Your self-worth does not depend on external circumstances. We're moving along now. That's going to perfectly set us up for the rest of the, of the pillars here. Second pillar is that it's to reach your mountaintop your version of success. Notice that this is titled Reach Your Mountaintop, not Reach The Mountaintop. So the would, would imply that there's only one mountaintop. No. It's what success means to you, not to your coworkers, not to your friends, not to your family, not to television society or the media, not to the external world. It's what success means to you, not what other people think, want, or expect of you. It's your mountaintop your version of success. Like Adam LaRoche did, he lived his life according to his own internal compass, spending time with his son. The administration thought he was out of his mind. But guess what? It doesn't affect Adam, who now is living a successful life, being with his son. Your self-worth doesn't depend on the external world, and also doesn't depend on what other people want from you. It's about your internal <coughs> compass. No one path is better than another. If you want to own a business, great. If you want to be great at your job as an employee, great. If you want to combine the two and maybe work while growing your business, great. No one of those paths are any better or worse than any of their other paths. Do what works for you. There's no one set way. You don't need other people to dictate to you how you're going to live your life. One of the core messages is that, there, that this idea of success is subjective to you, not to somebody else. Also, third and final pillar theme for this book is that the mountaintop way of life is something that can be lived and achieved on a daily basis. Daily basis. What do I mean by that? I want you to learn from my mistakes. My core flaw for high school and college and even out of college is that I always based my happiness off of an external situation happening. But it never happened. A setback would happen. It wouldn't turn out the way I wanted to. Something would devastate me. Something wouldn't come through. And what I realized after interviewing all these experts around the world is that you don't reach a goal and then be happy. Happiness is the way to your goal. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? Well, being um, living a mountaintop level life doesn't mean everyone will be singing your praises. People may disagree with you. People may not like the path you've chosen. People may not like the career you're doing. They may be doubting you. That's still mountaintop. It's not about that external world of all of these doubts and people wanting something else for you. It's being true to what you want on a daily basis, doing what's right, even when else, someone else doesn't agree with it. That's the mountaintop way of life. Mm -hmm. These core skills are not taught in schools, 
and they're not taught in businesses, at least many of the businesses I've been a part of didn't ever teach these skills. I wish they had, because they are crucial to your success in life, crucial. Studies show that they make up for 80% of your success or more. A, a light bulb went off my head. I said, why is society not talking about the skills that are most important to your success? And I got so passionate about it because I said, wait a second, there are people out there struggling just like I was. There are people out there going through troubles because they were never taught those skills. This is the antidote to the way things are. This is flipping what society says and gives you a true path to revolutionize your life, become a better leader, get to where you want to be, and live a life according to your internal compass, not what someone else thinks, expect, expects, or wants of you. I'll leave you with this. Every single day, we have countless external expectations. The media, society, television, friends, family, colleagues, coworkers. The mountaintop way of life is about having ethics, integrity, standards, following a practical proven process through the methods and insights in the book, and living life according to your own internal compass. Getting from where you are to where you want to be, even while you're struggling, even while you have ups and downs. And then, you'll be living an authentic life, you'll be having integrity, and you'll be reaching your mountaintop. I will see you at the mountaintop.